to Wayfair. Shares sinking today in the pre-market, both and after the open as well, four minutes into the session. The online home retailer reporting a wider than expected loss for the fourth quarter. I want to bring in Greg Mellick, the senior retail analyst at Moffitt Nathanson, with that stock down deep into negative territory. Your thoughts, Greg? John, thanks for having us. I, look, I think with Wayfair, what you're seeing is that battleground that's happening as retail goes multi-channel. So Amazon's got 65 million households are prime. They're spending $2,000 a year. They're up over 100 million square feet of distribution capacity. And Wayfair is getting the sales, but they missed on margin. And they're, But they did say on the call they're going to expand their distribution capacity from 7 million to 11 million square feet. So. Home Depot did it in December. Walmart's doing it. Basically, retailers are going multi-channel, and it's going to cost money to do it. Who's doing it right right now, Greg? Why now? Uh, why now is that there's an inflection with the consumer. It started with mobile commerce, and now we think it's starting with with e-commerce, voice commerce, where once people tie into a membership, they come more frequently and they spend more. And so, you know, whether it was Walmart earlier this week, the reality is you need to invest more to keep those customers coming, not just every week, but every day. And so I think that's why it's happening now. The consumer's just moving fast. Greg, there was some enthusiasm about what the, uh, the tax plan would mean for a lot of this. And I just wonder whether a lot of those gains from the tax bill are actually going to go into a price war, ultimately, between many of these companies. Is that what we could see? Uh, we have estimated that uh, companies will keep 25 to 60 percent of the tax cut in terms of higher earnings. Uh, I would say that as we've gone through earnings season, it looks like it's going to be a little bit less than that. Uh, where will it be invested? Partly in price war or gross margin, but it isn't necessarily cutting price. It could also be assortment. A lot into SG&A in terms of labor and service, and uh, a little bit on CapEx, too. With Greg, all there, this was, distribution there were times last year when things just looked absolutely ugly. Any reason to believe that 2018 will be different to 2017? I think there's a lot of reasons in the sense that uh, for the better companies, the injection of capital, those that have return on capital that's 15 percent or more, they can find good opportunities to invest. So we do think there's some good names out there, Costco, Home Depot, uh, names that, that can reinvest this tax cut wisely and get more return from it. Uh, but for those that are losing share and don't have a good multi-channel strategy, I think it will continue to be tough.